G'day mateys and welcome back to the Down Under Gamer channel. It is the Down Under Gamer here and we are back with, I believe it's like episode 13 of our DEI 1.2.3 E or Divide and Impera um, for uh, Rome 2 Total War. Sorry guys, it's been a busy day of uh, lots of things going on, chasing up things for uh, my move overseas uh, coming very soon. Um, but yeah, so uh, Divide et Impera for Rome to Total War, uh, Rise of Rome Let's Play campaign. Uh, so obviously uh, in the previous episode, uh, we came up, we smashed the Insubrian army um, in a uh, nice, uh, you know, uh, bloody siege up here at Medellin. Um, we have now obviously taken the settlement from them and managed to force them into peace. Uh, we are back to making reasonable income, 5,000 a turn. I think that's not too bad. Um, plus, uh, you know, to, uh, what, nearly 1,200, uh, 12,000 in the bank. Uh, so obviously in Medellin, we are going to demolish all the existing uh, Insubrian buildings uh, and then replace them with buildings of our own uh, so that we uh, sort of help increase the spread of that Latin and sort of Italic culture. Um, and so now we are in a position where we still have an army camp down here in the south. Uh, we have got uh, two legions up here in Medellin. Uh, so one which I think is a little bit banged up. Yeah, they're down to 16 units. Uh, and then obviously uh, my core army which still has 19 units in it. Um, so we will see what happens. Uh, so uh, that said guys, as always... Uh, if you like what is happening here on the channel, uh, if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Go and smash that subscribe button, uh, drop this video a like, uh, and leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, all that good stuff in the comment section below. Um, now guys, uh, I did put it down, we are so very, very, very close, obviously today is Thursday. Um, I, and I said that if we could get the channel to 50 subscribers by the end of this week, um, then obviously I will film a custom battle uh, between two factions of you guys, the viewers, choosing. So that would be, you would let me know what factions you want to see, uh, and then I would obviously pick those. Um, and load up into uh, a custom battle between those two factions so that we could show them and their uh, their units and their armies off on the battlefield um, and hopefully uh, you know myself emerge victorious uh, if not then I would definitely go down in a uh, you know a blaze of glory um, so guys if you want to see that smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down there telling me which factions you would like to see uh, so that's it guys let's jump into today's episode I think we have done about all we can do what have we got 19 food extra commerce but it gives me extra bandancy um, extra piracy as well uh, what about down here in the south? Uh, so Taras unlocks uh, Apuli Extraordinari, uh, first, second, and third class. You know what? Uh, for 19 foods. Yeah, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's build it. Um, uh, quick look at diplomacy uh, and Tigana Day. Are they ready to trade yet? No, they're still being scumbags. That's okay. Uh, how about the Athenae? Athenae's a maybe. They're a maybe. How about a little bit of money? And they have accepted. Wise choice. Um, how about you these guys the here? Again, obviously they've, uh, they've found out that, um, Athens got a little bit of money out of me. So now they're, uh, playing the game as well, which is cool. Uh, and some of you might think that maybe I'm spending too much money on this. Um, possibly. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, so what do we got, Epirus? I give you greeting and my attention for the next Still evening. low. 
of the Helveti. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but no, they don't want to trade. Okay. In Subre. Nope. Probably because I just smashed them, but anyway, it is what it is. I will listen. I cannot say Hi. for how long. The matters of state and the See if I can get some of money out of them. Attention. How about some more? No, this is like demand payments. I accept it. Very Excellent. nice. The Nori, will they come to the... No. That's okay. Seleucidae. Greetings. Probably not. No, I didn't think so. Um, so Kuzoi, mm, maybe, maybe not. No. Um, okay. So there we go, we've got a bunch more trade agreements. Yeah, picked up nearly another oh, thousand dollars in trade, or whatever it is. So it's not too bad. Um, all right, let's go ahead and end the turn. So that is the shattered remnants of the uh, Insubrian army. Doing a little fort dance. In the fort, out of the fort, in the fort, out of the fort, in the fort, out of the fort, and shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, that's what it's all about. Um... <coughs> No longer stand with you in peace and my silly the way of man. ended that non aggression pact with me. That's terrible. So, a new political election. This man has been elected Quaestar, the lowest position on the Cursus Honorum. He will supervise the state treasury and conduct audits for the P Republic. Okay, Rebellion, Patavium, where are we? We're hidden agent. Mission successful. From humble beginnings, completely control three provinces. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, treasury, plus 5,000. Nice. Uh, if you wish for peace, prepare for war. The endeavours will not go unopposed. Prepare for the inevitable raised force capable. Maintain 60 units in total. New bonus objectives. Okay. So, this is our main force. Um... So let us transfer this guy up, so that way this one is now full. We hunger for battle. So we'll pull him out of the city. Is that all? We hunger for battle. We cannot pass here. 
Ah, I need to put you in normal stance. That's probably why. Okay, so put this guy in, uh, what are they, raiding, ambush, patrol. Alright, so what have we got here? A pacified capital. Okay. Turn it into an L. Oh, we just dropped down to. Yeah, okay. So we're about to build food there. Okay, that's cool. Um, so let us build a public forum. We are building a barracks, which is fine. There we got Italian immigrants. Nah. So we'll build a consecrated ground. And uh, let's build a uh, suburbia for 1% second class citizens. Sure. Uh, let's build fish there because food is uh, obviously going to be important to us. Oh yeah, maybe see if we can upgrade these guys. And there's the whole army done. Nice. Solutions. What do we got there? We've got the Galatians. We've got the. I have no idea who that is. Uh, in Anatolia, there. So, a research complete. Uh, hidden agent exposed. That's okay. So, who is that? Oh, Pergamon. Okay, cool.
So, what can we do here? Archives. We got legal documentation, plus three loyalty for political parties, uh, plus one influence per turn for the ruling political party. Minus five percent age in action, two percent tax. What is this one? Plus two cultural conversion, plus six generated from all culture, from culture or regions. Hell's building. Mm hmm And what about the economic ones? What is this one? Grain silos, irrigation ditches, more from agriculture. We hunger for battle. That is impossible. Advance. Men. Commander. Get the stakes up. We hunger for battle. Patrol. Okay. we do here? A vintner. So a wine trader. What is this one though? Wine for each region. So I think somebody did mention something about building a wine trader would make a, a shitload of money. Um, so let's go with a wine trader. So it doesn't, um, I don't think this one's going to be a very eventful uh, episode, guys, unfortunately. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we'll see uh, what happens, obviously, if anyone declares war on us. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, it'll just basically be um, uh, consolidating our gains thus far, uh, expanding the economy a little bit, all that sort of good stuff. Um, Um, but yeah, guys, like, like I said at the start of the video, obviously if you want to see a custom battle between two factions of your choosing, um, you know, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, guys, and we hit uh, 50 or more subscribers by the end of the week, uh, I will record and upload a custom battle and show off two factions um, for this great mod. Um, so, you know, get your, uh, get your nana to subscribe, uh, do whatever you've got to do, uh, about 50 subscribers or more. Uh, and we will definitely do a, uh, a custom battle and have that uploaded by uh, early next week, I would, uh, I would assume.
now also guys <clears throat> I do have a, a roster I was actually originally supposed to record this yesterday and I, I actually did um, but I was uh, I was playing online um, uh, the night before with a couple of buddies of mine and um, because it's it's very very hot where I am in North Queensland so I had uh, the ceiling fan going and I've got like this little uh, this little air chiller fan sort of on um, on the floor next to me and uh, it was blowing too much on the microphone so I actually muted my microphone the night before and I woke up the next day and because uh, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep um, so I've sort of been busy running around doing things and uh, I actually ended up recording about three uh, three episodes this one um, uh, and two of my uh, EU4 Let's Plays for various mods and um, I actually uploaded the first video um, and published it on my channel before I actually realised that um, there was no sound with any of them so uh, unfortunately I had to uh, delete them and go back to scratch um, but it is what it is so um, a note to self guys if you are doing YouTube videos um, preview your videos uh, before you upload them there we go. I'm sure uh, you guys that have been YouTubing for a while are well aware of that. Some fool has been caught defacing the Temple of Judah. Such matters should not be taken lightly. Hand him over. Let Jupiter decide his face. Punish him yourself. Chastise the cur. Look reverent before the gods. Sure. Sounds good. What is this? Educate. Send a character away for tutoring. Of course. Character is too young. Bullshit. Okay. No, we don't want to adopt. What can our wife do? Not much. So we've got the the Nori sitting there on our, our border. So what we might do is we'll get this guy and we'll march him up here to the crossroads. Um, and then we'll put him back in fortress formation. So how are these guys going? They're still uh, reinforcing. Yes, they are. Now, are we building a barracks here? Yes, we are. Okay. That won't be finished for a little while. That's okay. Uh, so, retium. So, if I build this, what is this? Minus four. Supply storage. Supply line. 0.7% foreigner population. I suppose that's uh, pretty standard with uh, any port in the world today. Brings in a lot of people from outside. Um, so it is what it is, but that will generate as well. That will also give us, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, income, supply, all that good stuff.
So we have encountered another faction of the Ptolemaeoi. Uh, let us check. No, Pergamon can't trade. Okay. How about these guys? Speak wisely. If speak, you must. Nah. Greetings. Well, do not. I give you greeting and my attention for the next. Okay. All right, so we've got fish building. Got the forums, we got that, da 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 da. Cool. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, dismantle the supply pit. Um, and the reason being is because at this point in time I don't need a baggage train. Um, but I am going to replace it with something else. What can I build from here? A wine trader. Plus 20% tariff income from trade agreements. That's huge. Okay, so let's do that. Um, because obviously my army has kind of expanded out now, most of my generals are, um, how do we say, Custer, uh, uh, yeah, dismantle. Uh, most of my generals are sort of like skilled up in the, the replenishment perk now. Um, so hopefully um, this shouldn't make too much of a difference. So and given that oh, we're not actually looking to Rome to reinforce our armies at this point in time. So what we'll do is we'll get the wine trader up and running in there. Plus the wine trader we're building in the other region I think it is. It's like Arminium or Arresium. Um, so that should give us some nice income um, bonuses. And then from there, that should uh, give us plenty of money. And then we can look at maybe uh, actually recruiting a fleet. Um, and then perhaps go down and do what uh, we wanted to do at the beginning of this campaign. And uh, launch a conquest of uh, Sicilia. So... Uh, because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, Sicilia is important, yeah, we need to get it. Uh, if it wasn't for the Romans, then we wouldn't have, uh, you know, the, the Sicilian Mafia and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, with uh, such proud heritage. Oh, Apollonia, who is that? The Eprit, what's going on there? Is that Rebels? Hmm. That could be an opportunity right there. Hmm. Or have they had a civil war? I don't know. But that's a new faction, that's a new banner, it's a new potential trade partner. And if they're not a trade partner, then they're obviously a, p a potential. Um, uh, staging ground for uh, an invasion force uh, because from there obviously we can push into uh, Macedon, we can push into um, you know Greece, Balkans uh, so what have we got? Uh, Faction Rises, the Eperit League, okay that's cool um, Construction Report Public Forum, Genoa Ah, a year in history. We haven't looked at that for a while, have we? Deaths. Uh, Myth uh, Mithridates, founder of the Kingdom of Pontus. Um, da 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 da. Uh, the Mauryan Emperor uh, Ashoka converts to Buddhism. Um, King of Pontus succeeding his father. Uh, January 23, Marcus Aurelius Regulus and Lucius Julius Libo celebrate triumphs over the. Salentini, Calabria, and Messapia are annexed by the Roman Republic. Very good. My spirits are yours. On the road again.
So what do we got? Plus three public order, plus four sanitation, plus two research, minus six percent provincial income. Income's not too bad, but five percent first sec class citizens. I do like that. Shrine of Jupiter, public order sanitation, the Latin cultural influence. Um, that's probably a good one to put there because we really want to, uh, you know, sort of like push and promote. Um, so we might put our supply pit here because this is obviously our northern frontier. And so that's going to be my plan, guys. Like as I advance out, conquer a new region, then it'll be like build a supply pit because that's now the front line. So that's going to provide that extra boost and like reinforcements to the troops and, and all that sort of good stuff. Um, so we got a brick maker, minus 5% construction cost, 300 wealth, and four a maker, wealth from all commerce, 3% second class citizens. So that gives us citizen growth, so we'll go with that one. It's not as much money, but it is what it is. Ah, so Roma. So what did we build there? Was it a forum? I think so, wasn't it? Yeah, forum. Welcome. The day is already old. So it would appear that I do not have the ability to trade with them, which is bullshit. But anyway, maybe because they're a new faction, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. So I'll probably look at wrapping this episode up soon, guys. Um, like I said, I do apologise. I understand this one is a little bit boring. Um, but obviously, um, you know, uh, consolidating the position, um, uh, maintaining that public order and getting that sorted out, um, and plus sort of building and expanding that economy is, is somewhat important because um, obviously our next target is going to be uh, Sicily. Um, so we're going to need a fleet to deal with that, especially if it's, uh, you know, there are actually scripts in place which will trigger the First Punic War, uh, because if I go into Sicily, then um, obviously my goal will be to take uh, Sardinia and Corsica as well. Um, it is what it is. Another faction encountered is the Eprit League. Okay, so now we should be able to trade with them, or at least try and trade with them. Are 
I will listen. I cannot say for how long, for matters of state and a splendid bowl of olives demand attention. Demand payment. They accepted. Of Olympus Beautiful. Choice. Welcome. The day is already old. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. All right. So another trade agreement. We're back up to five thousand uh, a turn. So who's this, the Daorsi? We need to um, maybe look at a tech that's going to allow us to upgrade Taris. Cohos Vocate, Cohos Prima. All right. So what's the population like here? So the Latin is on the rise, uh, nearly 20%, Italic and Celtic's on the way down, okay. Can't I can't recruit any more of my factional troops out? I'm not sure why. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but this is fine down here. <coughs> That's fine. So if we go to the military techs, so this one will enable us to upgrade the wharf. So once the one we're currently doing is done. Um, then we will uh, we will do that wharf one, and we will get that wharf upgraded, and then we will start putting a fleet in the water, or at least that's our uh, that's our plan, that's our goal for the uh, coming episodes. Um, so where are we? So that's right, we're building a wine trader there. We're going to build a wine trader in Rome. Uh, so it should make a very, very, very wealthy province. Uh, so that said, guys, obviously, um, you know, like I said, I do understand that this uh, this episode was probably a little bit boring. Um, you know, obviously, just sort of uh, consolidating our position, uh, strengthening our economy more. Um, you know, I think uh, for the size of our um, you know, kingdom or empire at this point in time, I'd say our armies are big enough. You know, pretty much sort of two and a half uh, stacks. Um, and it's just basically a matter now of like just um, you know, getting some more trade agreements, um, expanding our economy, and so that we can afford to um, you know put a, a nice solid fleet in the field that will be able to uh, uh, you know allow us to sort of challenge the uh, the uh, the Carthaginians. Subre, the Nori, no, Ptolemais, no. 
Sinopian and usurpers. Okay, maybe they they'll listen. trade. I cannot say for how they long. just might. The matters of state and the uh, splendid payments. bowl of olives demand attention. Hey. hey. And they accept it. Excellent. That is awesome. To Lingi. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's it, guys. I will end the episode here. Uh, so if you enjoyed this episode, uh, smash that subscribe button and drop this video a like. Uh, and leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, all that sort of good stuff uh, down in the comment section below. Uh, apart from that, I hope you all have an awesome uh, day, an awesome evening. Um, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.